So the new Warzone update has just dropped and we're going to fly through the new perk system within this new Warzone update. Now as you can see, all the perks will be locked now for every single player within this game because we need to level up and unlock all these perks from the beginning. But the good thing is, a lot of these perks are a lot better now. So let's go through all the different options that we do have available and we also do have wild cards as well. So first of all, we do have reflexes. Now this is in the perk 1 category slot. Now there's no wild cards that allow you to equip more than 3 perks in this game. That is currently until they maybe add in uh, additional wild cards. The first one is reflexes. This is the perk 1 slot. We've got triggered explosives have a delay when sprinting past them. Reset fuse timers when picking up live grenades. I don't think this is going to be a massively used perk, especially considering what else is in this category here. So even though it's a decent choice if you run into a lot of buildings where people are camping, I don't really see it being used too often. We've got veteran reduce the negative effects of enemy equipment whilst aiming down sights to reduce flinching and extend hold breath duration. Immunity to Grenadier, Snapshots, and Resistant to Flash, Gas, Movement, and Shock negative effects. This could be pretty useful actually because it's pretty much negating a lot of, of enemy equipment right here. So it does help a lot. And it also stops uh, a lot of your kind of idle movement when you're getting shot at. Uh, so that's pretty good to do with flinch. Especially if you're using a sniper rifle by the way. Then we've got Grenadier, which explosive damage slows enemy health regen and movement speed. Throw equipment further and see the preview trajectory. Enemies must remove the shrapnel to regen health or must remove the shrapnel to regen health. I don't really know what that means. Regardless, this is going to be annoying, but again, I don't think it's going to be overly helpful. Now we've got Dexterity, reduce weapon motion whilst jumping, sliding, diving and take less fall damage. Now, weapon motion in this game does not mean you get faster ADS, you get faster sliding speeds or anything like that. It literally just means the motion of the gun, which is a bit of a strange concept to be honest. So it's not that useful. The, the less fall damage part is actually the, probably the most important part of this uh, perk to be honest. Scavengers start with the maximum reserve ammo. So this is basically like fully loaded, right? Um, extra uh, munition from loadout acquisition as well. Resupply ammo and equipment and plates from dead enemies. So if you run past dead enemies, you can resupply ammo and equipment, which is pretty cool. And then you've got survivor as well, which restarts health regen quickly and your allies revive you faster when you're downed. Health regen begins after three seconds. This is probably the best perk in the category, in my personal opinion. Uh, veteran's also really good as well, so if you're going to pick a couple, uh, I think Survivor, Veteran, and also we do have Scavenger, I think we're pretty solid as well actually in this case, especially for Warzone. Moving on to the perk 2 slot now, we do have Quartermaster, now this is basically restocked, so it recharges your equipment. Very useful perk, but again there's better perks in this category for sure here. Bomb Squad. Reduces the effects of explosive and fire damage. Spot enemy equipment and kill streaks through walls. Can hack enemy equipment. ADS <laughs> to highlight equipment for your squad and does not reduce kill streak damage. Very, very useful perk to be fair. It's actually a very solid one, but there's really, really good perks in this category. So I do think it is very useful. So if you do want to use it, definitely a solid choice. Uh, and it's obviously the first unlocked one as well, which is really useful too. But there's again really good options here. So we've got tracker next. So tracker, as we know how this works. See enemy footsteps. Bullets you fire briefly mark an enemy for you and your squad. Providing that you hit the enemy, obviously I'm pretty sure that means. Uh, enemies that are that down you are automatically pinged as well. So not only is it basically tracker from what we've had before, it has extra perks as well and definitely a solid, solid choice. Sprint. Sprinter. We've then got Tactical Sprint indefinitely. Now, this is whilst you're holding your weapon. So, you can Tactical Sprint forever. Now, this is the best perk in this category, in my personal opinion. I, don't, I know there's a lot of good ones. This is the best one. And then, also, you can Tactical Sprint indefinitely whilst holding your knife or melee weapon. But this one allows you to have your gun up all the time. So, this one's going to be definitely the best choice, in my opinion. I think everyone's going to run this. Cold-Blooded. Undetectable by AI targeting and thermal optics. Prevents it some enemy recon perks and effects. Immunity to combat scout, which is pretty good. Immunity to scrambling and EMP. 
and will not trigger uh, alertness or high alert of whatever you want to call it. Again, kind of decent. Not quite as good as some of the other options. I think Tracker, and Sprinter, and Bomb Squad are a better choice. Then we've got Quick Fix. So killing players or in certain armor plates immediately starts the health regen. So that essentially restarts your health regen in general. Uh, and can insert armor plates one-handed, which means you can fire your weapon and insert armor plates at the exact same time. Which is a solid choice actually, man, like this perk category of perk 2 has got really good perks in it, so you can go quick fix. Sprinter's probably going to be the best option to be honest, especially for anyone who likes movement. Quick fix might be the best option for anyone just in general, uh, and then tracker's also really good, bomb squad's also really good as well, so those are the four best options here, bomb squad, tracker, sprinter, quick fix. Perk 3 category, again, we've got some solid choices in here, but I do think a lot of perks are actually missing in general. Uh, I think they're going to add in new perks in the future as well. I think that's going to be something they will do. Uh, but we've got Gung Ho to start off with. Reduced movement penalties whilst reloading or using equipment. And then you can also reload and tax sprint at the same time, which solid, solid perk right here, by the way. Movement-based perk. This is going to be really good. Resolute is going to take damn. Taking damage from gunfire provides a boost to movement speeds for a short duration, 15% movement speed bonus. Ghost, undetectable by radar pings and cannot be detectable by some devices. And this only is whilst you're moving, by the way, just that's not actually stated here, but that is how it actually works. Uh, and you're immune to the heartbeat sensor and prox alarm. Bird's eye, your UAVs that you call in are 25% larger and show the direction of the enemy. Detects players with ghost equipped. Uh, players with ghost do not show, obviously, the direction. And increase applies to UAVs when you do use them. Uh, UAV killstreaks, UAV towers, portable radar. Tempered allows you to fill your armor plates in two instead of three. So, I mean, you're also filling up plates quicker by doing this. And then also alertness is basically high alert from before. So, the side of your screen will obviously alert you if enemies are looking at you so from in general we've got a really solid bunch of perks and these are all for warzone specifically now which has been what i've been wanting for a long long time and uh, my personal favorite ones are all the movement based perks um but there's a lot of really good choices here i do think gung-ho um tempered ghost are probably going to be the best three in the perk three slot quite an interesting couple of changes to wild cards here as well uh, because it's not actually available for us because it's all locked at the moment. Uh, we've got Bandolier, which your loadout provides a munition satchel. So you start with max ammo, essentially, and you can carry max ammo with your loadout, uh, which is pretty solid stuff. Uh, probably not the best one, but definitely a good choice still. Um, overkill, equip two primary or secondary weapons. That's personal preference. We know how overkill works. Pretty standard stuff. Gunfighter, get to... Attach three extra attachments to your prime weapon, but only on Black Ops 6 weapons. So they have kind of modified this so that you can't basically break the Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 guns. Because to be fair, if you could attach eight attachments on those guns, I think they would be pretty broken to be fair. Especially considering the kind of attachments that are available on those weapons. Battle Ready, your rollout provides a UAV and utility box. This wild card is only available in Warzone. Now, obviously we're missing things like Perk Greed, which allows you to carry an extra perk and all those kind of things as well, but I think they've took that out because you get lootable perks in the game. Not really sure. wonder if they add more wild cards in the game, actually, because there's quite easy ones they could have added in, for example, the one that allows you to carry extra lethals and tacticals. Things like that, for example, would definitely not be broken, I don't think, especially considering uh, the previous state of Warzone, you could carry like unlimited lethals and tacticals anyway. So I think that could be a solid choice to add in here, but we'll just need to wait and see. Uh, but overall, definitely some solid changes here. So when you do get um, the wild cards, I do think the best option actually is just overkill again. I think that's what everyone's going to run. I don't really see any reason to run anything else unless you want a lot of UAVs. And carrying max ammo is not really that important, especially if you're killing a lot of players anyway. So there we have it. Those are all the best perks inside Warzone at the moment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much for watching.